Hi everybody. In this video, I'm going to look at just a few more tools that can um, you can use for modeling uh, that will come in real handy. So what I'm going to start with is a cube. And I'm also going to make a sphere because I want to make sure that your computer looks like mine. So uh, right here, uh, we have these wireframes. And you can see when I select an object, I can see the, how many segments it has. So I can see that pretty easily on the sphere. As a default, Cinema 4D doesn't show this. So we need to make sure, especially if you're into modeling, you want to always see how many segments. Or you always want that highlighted. So to find this and bring it back, you can come over to Mode. And this is if your computer screen doesn't look like mine. I'm going to come to Mode. I'm going to come to View Settings. And you want to make sure that this, this select wireframe, is checked on. And you can see, without it, I can't tell how many segments this sphere has. And with it on, I can. So, uh, make sure that's turned on. I'm going to delete this now, and let's start this tutorial. First, to get to any type of modeling tools, we do need to make the shape editable. So I'm selected on it. I'm going to make, uh, select the Make Editable button. This will allow me to get to my different modes here. I'm going to go to the polygons mode or face mode. I'm not going to select the face. I'm just going to, over here, right click. And I want to show you this tool. This is the loop path cut tool. If you're a Maya user, user you might um, know this tool as the insert edge loop tool. And what I'm going to do, looks like my mode is on path here. And I'm going to hold down on one of these lines, and I can hold it down and release, and that will create a loop of edges. Okay, so I can make as many as I want. I can also hold it down on this edge, on uh, this horizontal edge, and you can see I can release a loop again. So if I just get off this tool for a moment, now you notice I have so many other faces because I've cut this um, cube up into segments that I could potentially right click and what we learned before was a bevel where I can come out and I can begin modeling. So um, this is a way to add new faces by using this loop edge cut tool. Let's see if I um, select off of these faces we can uh, right click. There's uh, many other things I hope that you try to... Um, oh, let me look at this one with you. This is also in the same area, this um, align cut tool. What this does is it will allow you to not make a full loop, but just a single cut dragging from one edge to the other. And I think you press enter or return and get off the tool and you can see now I've made, it's hard to see, but I've made a cut myself. Um, so I can use that if I right click again, that was the line cut tool, and I can cut dragging from edge to edge and pressing return. And you can get off of this tool. You can see it's kind of annoying. I can't get off of it. If you press escape, that's one way of getting off the tool, or just choosing the move tool I like to kind of go to to get off of that tool. So give these tools a try. Split up some shapes using those uh, little cut tools and loop tools, and uh, good luck, and uh, uh, keep an eye out for my next video.